Fibonacci sequence is a sequence where you keep adding the previous number that you have currently added. It goes like this. Um, one, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and so on. Leonardo Filius Bonacci found out on the Fibonacci sequence when he was trying to solve the um, the growth population of um, rabbits in Pisa. I know it might may sound funny, but it's true. Most of the mathematicians and historians think Leonardo as one of the most important mathematicians of the Middle Ages. Leonardo wasn't the first one to know about the Fibonacci sequence. It was known hundreds of years ago um, in India. There is also a Fibonacci day, which is on November the 23rd, which is one one which is the starting of the Fibonacci sequence. But the true Fibonacci day is in 2058. Some Fibonacci sequences also appear in nature, like the tree. This very branch, there's two spiking off, and then there's another one going off there. So that equals three, and there's more spiking off, which goes to five, and then there's the stuff there. So that's one example. Here it is working together to create the Fibonacci spiral. Today we have made a problem. Can you guess how it is linked to the Fibonacci sequence? So the frog here has to jump across the pond in as many different ways as possible. So right now he has no lily pads to jump across. So let's see how many ways there is to jump across the pond with no lily pads. That's one way to jump across the pond. Now let's try with one lily pad. That's one way. Now the other. So there are two ways with one lily pad. So now we've got a new bond with two lily pads. So let's see how many ways are there to jump. Okay, so now we've got a bigger pond with three lily pads. Let's see how many ways there are. Each time, how many ways can the frog get through the pond that links to the Fibonacci sequence? 